So in today's web dev tip, I'm going to show you how you can use an emoji as a fav icon. So if you're not sure what a fav icon is, if you look at your tabs in your browser, uh, you'll see there's always a little icon uh, next to the name of the site or the app that you're using. And that's an image that can be specified in your code. And that's usually a PNG or some other image that you can use to customize the tab of your app. Uh, but if you're just creating a quick project and you just want a small customization, you can use an emoji inside of an SVG uh, just to give you a quick graphic uh, without too much hassle. Uh, so what you'll need to do in your app is create a file called favicon or favicon.svg and then inside there if you just create a simple SVG uh, with a text uh, component inside of it and you can give it a, a small font size and then if you just paste in an emoji from your uh, keyboard and then if you just pop in an emoji of your choice into there, uh, that will be what appears in the actual fav icon of your tab. So what we need to do to get that to work is if we go over to the index page for your app, we just need to put a reference uh, to that SVG fav icon uh, for it to appear on the page. Uh, so we do that with a link tag. So we say link uh, and instead of a star sheet, we're going to have an icon. So the rel uh, property is icon and then href is the location of your favicon. Uh, so in my case, it's just in the root directory uh, next to the index.html file. Uh, so I can literally just say uh, favicon.svg. There are a couple of other properties that you might want to put in there. So size is any and then also putting the type in there as well. Uh, so we have image uh, forward slash SVG plus XML, which is the content type for uh, the SVG that we've created. You should see here in the tab in Chrome, we're now getting that emoji that we put into our SVG uh, appearing in the favicon spot uh, inside of our tab. So there you go, there's just a quick tip if you want to use an emoji inside your favicon.